Hello everyone and welcome to St. George's Anglican Church and our weekly series, Bible Readings for the Coming Sunday. Today I'm reading to you Proper 29 in our three-year lectionary cycle of Year B. A reading from the book of Job, chapter 38, 1 to 7, and then 34 to 41. Then the Most High answered Job out of the storm. The Most High said, Who is this that darkens my counsel with words without knowledge? Brace yourself like a human. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? On what were its footings set? Or who laid its cornerstone while the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy? Can you raise your voice to the clouds and cover yourself with the flood of water? Do you send the lightning bolts on their way? Do they report to you, here we are? Who endowed the heart with wisdom or gave understanding to the mind? Who has the wisdom to count the clouds? Who can tip over the water jars of the heavens when the dust becomes hard and the clods of earth stick together? Do you hunt the prey for the lioness and satisfy the hunger of the lions when they crouch in their dens or lie in wait in a thicket? Who provides food for the raven when its young cry out to God and wander about for lack of food? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that passage obviously is a lot of questions you need to read on or tune in next week to find some answers. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, verses 1 to 10. Every high priest is selected from among mortals and is appointed to represent them in matters related to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. A high priest is able to deal gently with those who are ignorant and are going astray, since a high priest also is subject to weakness. This is why high priests have to offer sacrifices for their own sins, as well as for the sins of the people. No one takes this honor upon oneself. One must be called by God, just as Aaron was. So Christ also did not take upon himself the glory of becoming a high priest. But God said to him, You are my child. Today I have become your father. And God says in another place, you are priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with loud cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a child of God, he learned obedience from what he suffered and once made perfect. He became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him and was designated by God to be high priest in the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reading chapter 10, verses 35 to 45. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus. Teacher, they said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. They replied, let us, one of us, sit at your right and the other at your left in your glory. You don't know what you are asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink? Or be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, You will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. But to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These 
places belong to those for whom they have been prepared. When the ten heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. For even the human one did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May you be blessed as you meditate upon these readings in preparation for worship on Sunday.